Hey guys, this is John, author of the Cabin Owner's Manual. We're out here in the mountains today working. Uh, it's mid-June, actually getting late June, and uh, there's a couple things that you need to know about the mountains whenever it starts getting into the heat of summer. Um, one of the biggest things that we run into is the fact that most people in uh, this area are used to cutting their grass short. And that works great during the spring because you know it rains um, you know three times a week and the temperatures aren't that hot and so the grass will grow but if you keep cutting it short and by short I mean shorter than three and a half inches uh, during the summer it can cause some serious problems three inches sometimes you can get away with depending on how much shade that you get but if you get something in full Sun it won't handle it'll kill it well out in the mountains we don't always have what you would call grass a lot of what we do out here is just ground cover um, kids and you could consider it weeds if you wanted to but it does work as ground cover and ground cover makes a big difference because of erosion and this is the big factor that I'm trying to get across today erosion is something that causes a ridiculous amount of problems for cabins and if you string trim meaning weed eat using a, a weed eater string trimmer whatever um, weed whacker some people call it if you string trim and you do it too low to the ground or cut the grass too low to the ground it will kill the grass injured injured actually not even a little bit Never doing that again. Didn't I tell you that last time? I think so. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Don't try and jump across rocks either. Fortunately, he's okay. Okay, please tell me you got that on camera. I, we're gonna find out, I hope so. Um, at any rate, where was I? Oh yeah, string trimming, cutting the grass too low. Let me show you. The In this part of the video, it is obvious that I was preoccupied. To be honest with you, I was worried that Daniel was injured and uh, was trying to avoid going over and just, you know, mommying him uh, because I was really was worried that he was hurting. So I changed my position so that I could keep an eye on him, but. Um, all in all, he actually turned out not to be that, that injured and not to be hurt that bad. But uh, what I'm getting at in this portion of the video is you can see behind me where there's a lot of moss. The moss is growing, and at one point, whenever we started working there, the hill was almost completely moss and uh, had very little erosion control on it. So we started cutting the hill, uh, the grass on the hill much longer and uh, whenever we trim it we don't cut it all the way down to the ground and it is allowing now after about four or five years there's actually some pretty good, good stands of grass growing on it so what i'm trying to get at is the university of tennessee says that in our area you should cut the grass three and a half to four inches tall uh, no shorter and especially during the summer months it it'll handle it in the spring uh, whenever you cut it short but when it starts drying out and getting hot most of the grass will just die off Go ahead, buddy. Oh, well, okay. thankfully, uh, no nothing was injured at all. In fact, it actually didn't hurt that much because uh, the bottom was sand. So, thankfully, I didn't land on my head, even though I did fall head first. I fell with my arm on sand and legs. So, I mean, I got a couple scrapes here, if you can see that. A couple. A couple scrapes, sorry. Okay, so what did you learn from the situation? Well, number one, moss is as slippery as heck. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like ice. And especially when it's wet and you're moving fast, there's no, there's there's no grip at all. There's no so stability. there's no stability. So don't don't trust it. And uh, <clears throat> secondly, um, just look at the camera. Don't do stupid stuff. I guess is that is that what you would? Because Work. Especially at work, but when I say stupid stuff, it classifies not as being stupid, but like 
uh, not taking unnecessary risks, like me goofing off, jumping across the rocks, that's something that could have happened. I mean, literally, if it would have been a rock bottom bed, like the rest of the creek was, I probably could have died. So... It was a good, what, seven foot drop? Yeah, it was, and I fell on my arm first, and then my head, and then my chest. You would have broken something. I would have broken something, and there's a good chance, since my head was there, I, I could have injured my head, and that would not have ended well. And we're out here in the mountains, we're miles from a hospital. Miles. Miles. And, and we miles, don't... An we don't have a, <gasps> an emergency med kit in the truck, do we? Yes. We do, but it's not... It, it wouldn't cover... It, it's not a, it, it wouldn't cover blood force trauma to the head. It's... Well, I don't know that anything would cover. I mean, at any rate, just be, practice safety. safety just, first. That's something that is uh, very important. And then lastly, you heard in the video, Dad said, did I not tell you to do that last time we were at this job? And I did. I did it last time with a job, and it was a lot drier. It rained a couple days ago, and so it's it's still wet because it's shady. But uh, he told me, uh, don't, don't do it. And I was like, okay. And I didn't really pay attention when this time I fell. So... The more and more I listen to this guy, the more and more it gets better for me. So, <laughs> well, I don't know about that. All right, we're just glad you're okay. We're glad he's safe. And we did worry me. I thought he was injured. That's the reason I asked him. But uh, there's a difference between hurt and injured. Hurt we can deal with. Injury is rough. Yeah. So, take care of yourself. I'm all right. Just glad we didn't have to bleep anything out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been terrible. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that one was so crazy. Like first question. Are you injured? No. Did I get on camera? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a, I got another question for you. Yeah. What are you going to do whenever your mom sees this? She's not going to see this. <laughs> maybe on YouTube, if, if she looks it up on YouTube, like maybe a couple a couple days from now, maybe we can talk to her then. But like, if it, Abby, mom will not hear this. <laughs> I have video evidence. Uh, all right. So. We're glad you're okay, buddy. Yes, yeah, I'm here. All right, guys. Remember, safety first. Always. Always. Safety first. Thank you.